There are a lot of studies that have shown that communities that are rich in the arts have done better economically. Red House began in 2004. And four years ago, we moved into this new space and we had been growing and this new space had been incredible to fuel our growth even further. Our impact, um, along with our peer uh, institutions here in Syracuse, bring in millions and millions of dollars into the economic uh, community. So Red House has two primary programs. One is our professional theater program. We also have a robust education program. The priority of arts and education and learning through the arts is something that Red House takes very seriously. We have been able to impact thousands and thousands of students every single year. Every year we bring about 200 actors and artists onto our payroll for various shows and programs, our classes and camps, and all of that tends to just add to the impact, the vitality, and the creative fabric of our community. We've got hundreds of people who are here for weeks on end who are staying in the hotels in downtown Syracuse and dining in downtown Syracuse and playing and shopping. So the opportunity to continue to influence that level of growth and to know that we're part of the entire ecosystem of performing arts here in Syracuse is really important to us and we know it's important to you as well. The theaters are magic factories. I mean, they can transport you to 11th century Scotland, to 1950s Pittsburgh. I think it's particularly important right now when Red House is beginning to expand its vision beyond just this stage and to reach out to downtown Syracuse. And so we are at a critical time, I think, in the history and the future of, of live theater because it's a medium we can't afford to lose, but if you want to keep it, you have to invest in it. And hence the purpose of a, of a program like this, which, which doesn't just replenish the coffers of Red House and allows them to create more magic, but also creates a much more viable downtown, a much more viable central New York artistic community. So Red House moved into this new space four years ago and we immediately began to grow. Prior to the pandemic, we were reaching 50,000 people, and after 637 days that these theaters remain dark, we are now back and returning to live theater, but we still need a lot of help. So we are entering into a fundraising campaign. It's called Act Two. The goal is $3 million, and this is really where we need everyone's help. We need to raise this $3 million to complete the work that's happening here at Red House, help Red House sustain this organization, and help us to continue to bring you great art. When you come to a place like Red House, you're gonna get more than you paid for. This is a place where you really remember why you went into the business in the first place. The arts have been proven to grow cities, and we know that our role here in downtown Syracuse is not only to serve Red House and our audience members, but it's to help grow this city. I think it's particularly important right now when Red House is beginning to expand its vision. If you were thinking of giving, think of giving twice what you were going to give because you will get it back uh, many, many times over. So our hope is that you will continue to support Red House, be a part of the arts fabric in our community and help us help you. Reach into your pocket right now and take, and don't take out a handkerchief or anything. Give me, give me, let's have some dough. You know what I'm saying? If you can help Red House, Red House can help you. And that is, I think, the kind of, I guess, relationship that this theater wants to have with this community.